welcome to a psychology if you're new here hello i'm miss m i am your tutor for everything psychology so whether you're in the ace program or whether you just want to be an ace at psychology make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you are always up to date with the latest psychology info and theories all right if you're here it's because you chose clinical psychology as one of your specialized topics for your a level exam now i'm going to go over at clinical today and i'm actually going to talk way less and put way more information up here so that this video is not too long for you and that maybe you get this generalized idea of what they're looking for as far as information that you need to know in order to go in and pass that paper three in order to go in and pass that paper four okay so you'll know or you'll notice that in clinical we have five different topics okay and these five different topics are paired with five different research studies so as far as what you need to know about these research studies go there is some in-depth information that you would need to know but it's not as in-depth as as level is now in as level there are 12 studies okay that you need to know but for a level within this clinical approach there are five and each study kind of is a part of each disorder or mental disorder that you need to know. So let's just get into this. Again, I'm gonna put way more information here on the side, and I got all of this information from your syllabus. So what you can do from here on out is jot this information down, what I need to know, and then go into your book, go into some research and get a more in-depth understanding of all of these. Now, here are the five studies that you'll need to know and what they are paired with as far as the topics in clinical. So we have Freeman study and this is schizophrenia. We have the Ulrich study and this is for bipolar disorder or a mood affect disorder we have the grant study and this is on impulse control and we have chapman study and this is on fear and anxiety and we have the level study and this is on ocd obsessive compulsive disorder now when you're studying these five research articles what do you need to know about this now it's important for you to know the context of the study the context why are they doing this study is there any background information and if you if you look in your book there it's not like it's five pages of information like you saw in the as level it may just be one and a half pages and they're just going to give you the details so don't think that you can go in and like just outline and pick out information from this because it's already shortened to exactly what you need to know so let's just take the freeman study for example you're going to need to know the context you're going to need to know the main theories that are involved in this virtual reality schizophrenia the ideas of why we're pairing these two things you're going to need to know the aim and the hypothesis so remember like a hypothesis is just a testable aim an aim is what what are we aiming to see what do we want to see happen in this study and our hypothesis is how can we study it how can we put this into a question how can we test this what we want to see and you may not need to know specific details as far as this is a one-tailed or two-tailed hypothesis but just knowing and understanding the the aim and the hypothesis of the study is enough you're going to need to know the design so the methodology what type of variables do we have are we randomly allocating people to these variables what is our sample what is our sample size what are, what is our demographics like can we take this study and apply it to people worldwide who can we apply this to you're going to also need to know the results or and or the conclusions of the study so like I stated earlier when I paired the studies with the areas of the mental disorders for the clinical you, we have five different 
mental disorders that we are going to need to know a lot of detail about for the clinical approach. You're going to need to know details about schizophrenia. And I'll put all the details up here on the side. But before I do, I really want you to know that there's like a theme that happens here where you need to know the diagnostic criteria of all of these according to the to the ICD-11. And in your book, it's going to explain these right to you. What is the criteria involved for someone to be diagnosed with schizophrenia? Um, you're going to need to know the explanations of schizophrenia, mainly according to like biology. What are the theories involved in how it's related to genetics and, and the brain and so forth? Again, the information here on the side is going to give you a lot more detail than I'm going to give you right now. You're also going to need to know the treatment and the management of schizophrenia. So these three things, criteria, the diagnostical criteria, the explanations of the disorder, and the treatment and the management, you're going to see this as being redundant in the five areas, okay? So I'm still going to go over them now just so you can get an idea and I can put them up here on the screen. You can take a screenshot, you can take notes as we go, you can pause the video, take notes as we go. So. Um, I just went over schizophrenia, so let's go over the next one, bipolar disorder. So for bipolar disorder, we have the Aruk study. You're going to need to know the diagnostic criteria according to the ICD-11. You're going to need to know um, the explanations of bipolar disorder. It's also called mood affect disorder. Again, according to biology and things like that. And you're also going to need to know the treatment and management of bipolar disorder. Okay, moving on, we are going to talk about now impulse control. So grant study um, that is based on the impulse control. So you find that in that section, you're going to need to know the diagnostic criteria according to the ICD 11. You're going to need to know any of the explanations of impulse control, where it comes from. You're going to need to know treatments and management for those who are diagnosed with impulse control. The next is anxiety and fear disorder. This is paired with the Chapman study on anxiety. You're going to need to know the diagnostic criteria according to the ICD-11. You're going to need to know the explanations of anxiety according to biology and society. You're going to need to know the treatment and the management of those diagnosed with anxiety. And the last topic is OCD, also known as obsessive compulsive disorder. And this is paired with the level study for OCD. You're going to need to know the diagnostic criteria according to the ICD-11. You're going to need to know the explanations for OCD. What, why does this come about in people's lives? You're going to need to know the treatments and the management of OCD, obsessive compulsive disorder. Okay, so I know there was like a lot of information that was flashed on the screen and I hope that you can go back or maybe take some screenshots of it or what you can do is, is just pull up the syllabus and you can look at it within the syllabus because I got this, I literally got this, all this information right from the syllabus for you. And um, if you study these areas and you understand these areas, this is how you're going to ace by paper three and paper four. There's a little bit more work that you have to do as far as analyzation for paper four, but for paper three and paper four, when you go in and you have to choose one area to answer, you're gonna pick clinical and you're gonna go and answer those questions. And there's gonna be about 30 points on paper three, I know at least paper three, there's gonna be at least 30 points dedicated to the area of clinical. And 
you know, if you're picking another area too, they'll have 30 points there, but this video is just for clinical. So um, I'm going to make another video for you because you're going to choose two topics. Okay. So go ahead and find the video for that other topic. Make sure to like this video. If you are not yet subscribed, please subscribe to my channel. Tell your friends about it. Consider joining my Patreon. All the links are down below for you and have an amazing day and ace that exam.